welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. In the last episode of The Royal Family, we had Princess Corinne of Willow Creek and Prince Louis. They had their baby and we named him Prince Cornelius. So this is their very first child and he's going to be the heir to the throne after Prince Louis becomes the king. So I'm so, so excited. So he's second in line for the throne at the moment. And then we also had Queen Nea of Oasis Springs. She had her baby and we named her Princess Arya. And then we also had Princess Belle of Willow Creek and Prince Francisco of Oasis Springs. They got engaged, so they will be marrying in the next few episodes or so, so I'm looking forward to their wedding as well. But in this episode of the Royal Family, we are going to be doing multiple proposals, which I'm so excited to do. And then we might be seeing a baby or two be born also, so I'm also excited to do that. So if you're looking forward to this episode, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already. My Twitter is in the description below. It is at MiraRay underscore, and you can look on there to check out my posting schedule for the weeks. And with that, let's go ahead and play the royal family. Okay, so we are at the Royal Palace of Willow Creek. It looks like Corinne is playing some Don't Wake the Llama with her in-laws. So that's really, really nice. So Corinne is supposed to be having her baby, I think in less than 24 hours. So she's just in her third trimester. I'm pretty sure she was in her third trimester, like starting like a few hours ago. So she'll be having it. Now it's Sunday at 5 p.m. I think it's around like Monday at 3 p.m. So it could be at the end of this episode, she will be having her baby. I did have to re-record this episode because I was having sound issues issues um, last time I filmed it. So I did actually have, I had to like reset a few things, but I couldn't reset the fact that Queen Nea is pregnant again. So her and Prince Philip Bay tried for another baby, so they're pregnant. And then also Prince Michael, Princess Meghan, and Lady Helena of Oasis Springs, they also all turned into young adults. So they are now adults, so they're no longer teenagers. So we, fortunately we did miss that, but we're not gonna miss like the super, super important stuff. So that's okay. So we are going to first have so Prince Jack, I think like, okay, so he has not been dating Lady Arya for very long, but I feel like he felt a little bit, like I feel like Prince Jack is a little bit competitive. So he might've felt a little pushed by the fact that his brother got married and then his sister, cause I mean, they're triplets. So they're all the same age. So his sister just got engaged. So I feel like now he feels a little bit pushed or rushed to get engaged as well. So I think we're going to have him ask Lady Arya out on a date or I'll invite her over first. Um, and then I think we're going to have him propose. So he has invited over over Lady Arya, did she say she's, okay, yes, it's, she'll be right over, there she is. So Lady Arya, um, let's go ahead and do uh, just like a few romantic interactions and then I'm going to ask her out on a date. I do have an idea of where I want them to go. There's this restaurant because I downloaded like a bunch of stuff for like like pub public lots or community lots um, for Willow Creek and I haven't really used any of them yet. So I am going to do that. So I, ooh, oh, okay. So I downloaded two restaurants and I don't know which one. To, this one says the hottest spot in town, but I'm pretty sure I put a, one of those like VIP rope doors. So I can't get like random people coming in and random fans like fawning all over everybody. So then we're gonna go there because I don't want to have to deal with fans at the moment. Okay, it is raining very, very hard here. Um, and so it looks like we were supposed to be in our formal outfits here, but I don't, I, I think honestly, I should I should give him a few more outfits, Um, but I think that his everyday outfit is fine, Prince Jack's everyday outfit. It still looks super, super fancy. I just don't think he like needs to wear his crown and everything when he's proposing to his girlfriend. I feel like that's not necessary. Um, so, oh shoot. Okay, I was really hoping it wasn't going to rain because I liked this area outside here for him to propose at. Um, I kind of just want to like change the weather. Um, why don't we have, I don't know, this looks kind of dark. I am not going to lie. I'm not a huge fan of that. I would really like it to stop raining. Maybe I'll do, oh, you know what? Let me just get that like weather machine and then hopefully nothing bad happens, but hopefully we can just use the weather machine to make it stop raining. Okay. So he is now changing the weather. Oh my gosh, guys, it is seriously like the thunderstorm is too real right now. Okay. 
Um, I think he had, okay, it says he still successfully did it. So thank goodness gracious. Okay, so he has changed the weather. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that here for now. Um, and then we are going to have them sit. I think, yes, it's right out here that I want them to sit. I don't think we need both of these tables. It looks a little bit crowded. So I'm just gonna make this like romantic area for both of them. So I'm just gonna delete this too. And then we're going to move this table right here. And then I'm going to get rid of just like two of these chairs. So get rid of that one and that one. So it can be just like a little romantic area for them to sit. Although there is some like dirty dishes here. So maybe, or you know what? The, the waiter should clean that up. Prince Jack should not have to fill or not fill it up. He should not have to clean that up. So let's go ahead and request table. It says, because this restaurant is so desired by celebrities, there is a cover charge. Oh my gosh. He's in his like towel. Guys, this is not, this is not fancy. Like this is not professional. Okay, I need him to change because I don't know why he's wearing his towel. And it's kind of gonna ruin the mood if our waiter is just wearing a towel around his waist instead of like actual clothing. I have just changed him back into his waiter uniform. So thank goodness. Okay, so they are going to request their table so they can sit there. Oh, Lady Arya, her dress is, this is Lady Sidira's dress. And I really liked it on Lady Sidira. So I'm probably going to change Lady Arya's formal outfit, but I'll do that after they get engaged. I think it's fine for the engagement, but I'm gonna have her change it. So if they are ever, her and Sidira, if they're ever in the same like party or something, then I don't have to worry about them both wearing the same thing. Um, so we'll probably do that. Also guys, so I did name, so as you can see with Lady Arya, or if I if I can get her to stop walking, um, but her name, can I just pause this for a second? Her name is spelled A-R-I-A. -A, um, and then we also have the Princess Arya of Oasis Springs that was just born. I also spelled her name A-R-I-A -A because that was the way her grandmother spelled it. And then someone put in the comments in the last video, like what if we name her Arya with a Y, so A-R-Y-A. -A. So I was thinking of doing that because then they said, well, then it's a mix of Arya and Naya. Um, so that could be really cool because then I don't have to worry about them both having the same name. I mean, it happens in real life. People have the same names, but I don't know. I would just prefer a little bit more like difference between the two of them. So I was kind of thinking that. So let me know what you guys think of that. Um, but okay, so we're going to order for the table. I'm pretty sure this restaurant has like really, really weird food. Yeah, it has like all of the really strange foods. So what if we just have wine? I think we might just have them do that. The most expensive wine. And then, well, we'll do, we'll do this. I think this is also really weird, but it's, it's fine. We'll, we'll do that. They have like nothing normal on their menu, unfortunately. So they'll just do some like appetizers and drinks. Um, and then as soon as they get their food, food, I think I am going to have him propose to Lady Arya. It's nighttime actually, so the view might not be as good, but it's still really beautiful out here. Like they've got the balcony and everything out here too. So I think this actually looks like so, so gorgeous. Okay, so they have just ordered their food. Um, so I am going to have him do a little bit of more romantic interactions. Although it looks like they're both feeling very, very flirty. So maybe I'll just have him propose to her now because I think this might be a good time. And also we have a lot of stuff to get done in this video too. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna have him propose to Lady Arya and then hopefully they'll like get up and do that against the balcony. Uh, but guys, I'm so excited. I, so Prince Jack has dated like quite a good amount of girls in his like life, um, especially as a teenager. I feel like Lady Arya is the first one that has like, they. I don't know, I feel like they're, the best for each other. Um, they just feel like they, I, I feel like they click really well. So that's why I think that they're really, really cute. Um, so he is now proposing to her guys. Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay, guys, they are now engaged. She said, yes. Oh guys, they're really cute too. I'm glad that we finally found someone for Prince Jack because I was kind of like, oh, this is, everything's in the way. Uh, I was kind of wondering when we were gonna find someone for him. So I'm really glad him and Lady Arya get along really well. Um, and they're really, really cute too, guys. I'm pretty sure he knows like her parents and everything also. Let's see, her parents is Earl Frederick of Oasis Springs and Countess Carla of Oasis Springs. Um, so they are actually, because since Earl Dean, which is her older brother, since he is planning on proposing to Princess Leilana of Sulani. Um, he is going to propose to her and he's going to give up his title to his sister, Lady Arya. So technically, would she still be Countess Arya? I'm pretty sure she would. Um, and then he would be Earl Jack. I might, 
I was thinking since it's like French, I was kind of thinking of changing his name to like J A C Q U E. Um, and, and although it might be like Jock, not Jack, if we spell it like that. Um, but I don't know. I was just thinking of that. I kind of wish I named him something other than Jack, but I think it's fine. It'll be okay. Um, so I'm excited for them to get married. Um, they might get married pretty soon because I'm realizing like if we only have like Corinne and Naya having babies at the moment, all their kids are gonna be the same age, but everyone else is gonna be really behind them. Maybe I'll have them elope. Ooh, mm, no, I don't think their parents would be too happy about that though. Um, they'll probably just have a small wedding though. And I'll probably maybe do that in the next episode. Maybe we'll get a couple marriages done in the next episode. So I think that might be nice. Um, okay, so they have not gotten their food yet, but that's fine. Um, I am going to actually end this date now because they're already engaged and I want to go ahead and get to the next proposal. Also, I do want to change Lady Arya's outfit really quick too. So let's go ahead and modify her cast. Um, um, and I think we'll actually be playing from her point of view after I change her outfit. And then we can just from like, since she's in the same household as Earl Dean, maybe I can just play from Earl Dean's point of view and then have him propose to Princess Leilana. So we can definitely go do that. And then maybe I'll change some of Earl Dean's outfit to make it like a little bit more like Sulani-ish. Um, he just needs something that's like, warm weather for him to wear. So we'll definitely try to find something for him as well. Um, but I'm trying to, f ooh, guys. Oh my God, there's like one click and I feel like she looks so gorgeous in this. Although that is a very, very high slit on her on her dress. I don't know how I feel about that. I do have some new gowns too. So I'm really excited for these as well. I think they're very, very pretty. I definitely feel like this is like, oh, like this is an adorable wedding dress. I definitely like, so I downloaded this for the like witches and wizards and all of that. I still feel like it, it works really well. I don't know, maybe I will save it for the witches and wizards, but I do still think it looks really, really cool. So I do need to find something for her. I think I'm gonna go with this for her formal outfit. This was actually something that Astrid wore in the Dynasty series, um, which by the way, I'm probably gonna be posting a Dynasty episode next. So just so you guys are aware, cause I know some people were asking, um, but I think I'm gonna have her wear this. I feel like this is fine. Like it's not like too revealing or anything like that. Like most of the clothing in the Dynasty episode is, um, but I feel like this is actually perfect. So I think we're gonna go with that for her formal outfit. Um, and then for, oh, oh wait, did I have I seen her like personality and stuff? Oh, Lady Arya is sweet. I forgot about that. She's sweet, she's outgoing and she's cheerful. She's got like the cutest personality guys. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet and so cute. Okay, and then we have Earl Dean too. So maybe I should pick something a little more like for Sulani for him. I'm just trying to figure out what exactly because I don't think I have like too much stuff. Um, Maybe just honestly, probably just like a tropical shirt or something like that. So maybe we'll just do that. Oh my gosh, guys, this has like pineapples on it. <gasps> I, well, I think so, right? Are these I think these are supposed to be pineapples. Oh, that's really like, it's like subtly cute. This actually looks exactly like his other outfit. Oh, well, it's like the same like tan jacket that he was wearing. Um, So there's that one. And then there's also just like the tropical shirt too that he, oh, this actually looks really, really good on him. Okay, yeah. So like this, but maybe, maybe just, the, I feel like maybe the black might work. So something like that. So yeah, okay. So that's really cute. I think I am going to change his shoes just for this outfit too, though. Um, so not like completely Sulani wear, but at least he's got something to start with for now. So I will change his outfit later on, but yeah, I'm so excited for him to propose to Princess Leilana, you guys. Okay. So it has brought us back to the uh, Oasis Springs house, their house. Um, so, oh, and then it looks like Lady Arya has just gotten back to it. Of course, she's feeling very, very flirty. Um, so yeah, this is their house in case you guys were wondering. It's pretty cool. Uh, oh my gosh, they have a pool indoors too. So that's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, so this is their house. Um, and then I, oh yeah, it looks like the roof. Okay, yeah, there's it with the roof. Um, so it is now turning to daylight. So I am going to have Earl, Earl, I almost said Sir Dean, um, Earl Dean. He is going to go ahead and propose to Princess Leilana. I think he's actually just going to like talk with her parents first a little bit, um, just to like, I, I not like ask for their, oh, well, yeah, no, I guess he could ask for their permission because like she's their only child. So it's kind of a big deal her getting engaged. I mean, her parents are super chill compared to other parents, cough, cough, Makai's mother. Um, so I think it'll be fine. Um, and I think they really, really like him a lot too. So I'm actually very, very excited to do this. So there is Princess Leilana. So she's like, hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I think they knew that they were supposed to hang out today. So I think that's fine. I think that after he proposed 
houses too. They're probably going to move in together as well. Um, so I'm going to have him knock on the door so he can talk to King Mahaka and Queen Lokalani. Um, and then I do have a very good idea for where I want them to get engaged and I'm very excited to do it. Um, so we're going to have, okay, first I got to find King Mahaka there. Okay, there's King Mahaka. Um, so maybe you should brighten his day and talk to him. He's, oh my God, guys, he's so close to her parents, which is so cute because like family means so, so much to them in this world too. So I'm really excited. So ask about day. And then I need to also find Queen Lokalani and I'm not exactly sure where she is. Um, also guys, so they have like these spirits, like these island spirits in their house. Um, I think you're supposed to commune with the spirits. Maybe that's something they should be doing. Like he should start communing with the spirits because apparently it's a thing. And like, if you get along with them really well, if you're like, please the spirits really well or something, it's supposed to have something really good happen or something like that. Um, that's what I heard. That's what I read. Also guys, apparently if you go to like certain places in Sulani, there's like random festivals that happen, but they don't like tell you that they're happening on like the city living pack, which, so I thought that was so cool. So I would definitely love to see if we can find like a festival or something but now that my in my um legacy series now that we live in sulani in that series i might just focus on that in that in that series so yeah we'll just have to see that might be like a mix of like a legacy challenge and also like island living kind of series so i think that'll still be fun um so maybe you should hug King Mahaka, because I feel like you asked him if you could propose and he said yes. And then I, now I have to find Queen, Queen Lokalani as well. Okay, so he's talking to King, oh, oh. And then we also have Queen Lokalani already here. So give her a heartfelt compliment, brighten her, or share secret, I guess. Um, and then it looks like Lady Arya, does she have to be at work? Then she should probably go to work. Um, and then Earl Dean. So he's talking to both of her parents now. He's not as close with Queen Lokalani, but I mean, that can change, that's fine. I think she still likes him a lot too. Um, so we will definitely do that. Um, and then also maybe ask about day. So I think things are going really well. Um, and I do want him to propose now to Leilana and I'm kind of thinking, so I am going to put them on a date, but I'm going to have, let's see, ask it on a date. Um, but I'm going to have them stay here technically because I want them to stay on the island, but I want them to go up to like the volcano over here because there's a really, really good view from there unless there's like another view somewhere else maybe no I, I think that might be the best view oh although the waterfall too would be so so pretty um can you go behind the waterfall probably not i feel like that's probably not a thing but that would be very very cool okay um so let's go ahead and have Earl Dean, he's going to ask out Princess Leilana on an official date. Okay, so he just asked, what is he doing? Did you see his hands like up here on his ears? <laughs> um, but he's asking out on a date, but we're just gonna stay at their house. Um, so now we're on an official date. So I, oh guys, every time I come here, the world is just so, so beautiful and I love it so much. Um, but we are going to have them come up onto this mountain and I am going, I know it's like super weird that they're like so close to here. Um, and is there like any other mountain they can go up to? Cause I feel like this itself is not pretty, but oh guys, also this would be pretty too just like under here. No, I want the view from like the mountain and everything. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'll just have him go like right here. Okay, for some reason it ended our date and I don't know why, but I'm gonna have him propose up here. Cause guys, look, it's so, so pretty. Okay, so I do want them both to make sure that we get them both flirty. Um, Cause right now she's feeling flirty and he's just feeling fine. Um, so, oh guys, they're really cute. I am so excited for them because, okay, so I, I, I had Princess Leilana, she had gone on like dates with two different guys already and I thought they were really cute. I couldn't like decide between the two. One of them was Prince Jack of Willow Creek, um, but I don't know. I didn't feel like they flirted or not flirted. I didn't feel like they clicked really well. Um, and then someone commented on the video and was like, I'm interested in that guy in the back. And it was Lord Dean. I think it was Lord Dean at the time. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. I didn't even think about that. So now they are together and they're so, so cute. So I'm gonna have him compliment her appearance. So he's not really feeling flirty yet, but they're having a steamy exchange. Okay, now he's feeling flirty. Okay, so I think it's time for him to propose to her. And I'm so excited you guys guys look at this view it is so gorgeous and now he's proposing to her oh my gosh oh my god guys 
Oh my gosh. I love this view so much. It looks amazing. And, and they're like getting engaged in there too. Oh my God, guys. I love this so, so much. And there's like this steaming volcano right behind them too. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't erupt while they're there. That would not be a good thing at all. Can you interact with this thing at all? I don't think you can, um, but they are very close to the volcano. So that's interesting. This is Makai's house as well. In case you were wondering, I might change it. I'm not the biggest fan of the outside the way it looks. I don't know. I think it might just look like, like it doesn't match the style of their palace. I think that's why I don't like it. Um, so yeah. Also, we should probably have like his mother and sister come over and I th I'm pretty sure that Princess Lana knows his sister, um, but I don't think his mother actually knows them. Um, so I do need to have them come over for dinner or something. So I think they're gonna go have fun now. They're going to go for a swim. Um, maybe just like in this like little lagoon area too. They'll go here and swim. Um, and then I, so as you guys, or if, if you're new to my channel, you might not know, um, but the royal family of Sulani, they are all mermaids. And I feel like everyone kind of knows that at this point. Um, it's just that like, it, I don't know, it's kind of just like a thing now. Um, so they are all mermaids. And then I just need to make sure that he like pays his bills too. So yeah, pay bills. Um, so it's going to be a thing for their wedding. We're going to do like this mermaid ceremony. I don't like the fact that there's like the sunscreen on his face, but I'll change that later. Um, so there's like the uh, royal ceremony that they would have at their wedding where the groom or if it was like the bride in the future, um, they would be changed into a mermaid if they're not one already. So I I think that'll be really really cool um so he'll be he's like ready he'll he knows about it already he's like kind of been educated on this what is this back here guys i've never seen this before oh it's trash oh we need to clean this up guys uh oh okay well that's not a good thing um so he's gonna clean that up um but yeah so that's kind of what's gonna happen with their wedding i might have them get married in the next episode because i really want them to get married um so yeah maybe i'll do that in the next episode because i i was kind of like trying to space out the weddings and all that stuff but I feel like I'm like, I'm like ready for them to get married and for them to have babies. Um, maybe he should like ask to move into their house. Well, you know what? I'll do that later. I don't have to do that now. So now that we've done this, oh my gosh. Oh, and then Corinne, she's going to have her baby in a few hours too. Okay. So hopefully let's, let me try to get the um, proposal done first. Cause the next proposal I want is for Prince Michael and Lady Helena to get engaged. Um, and originally, Oh, where are all of them? I think they're, are they all? Oh, they're all at the Eastern Palace. Oh, except for Prince Francisco um, and except for Princess Megan, but they're mostly all at the Eastern Palace. Um, so I want them to get engaged because I was kind of thinking like maybe they wouldn't have that much of a romantic relationship, but I kind of think they do. Um, they, I mean, they've like known about getting married for a while and they've lived together and they have a child together. So I feel like they're just not as romantic with each other, but I feel like they do really like each other. Um, and and obviously it's more of an arranged marriage. I feel like they more like really like each other rather than really love each other. Um, but yeah, I think that's a thing. So I'm going to have him actually, um, so I created a gather or a gathering. I created a club for the family. I'm um, gonna actually want to add another member, which would be, oh, it was supposed to be Lorda J, but I have to do that from Queen Naya's point of view. So that's not a good thing. Um, but I do want Lorda J to be here when they get married or when they get engaged, when his parents get engaged. So I'm going to have them all over here um, cause I want them all to, I, want, I kind of want him to do this in front of everyone. Um, so yeah, but also I, I also have to check when Queen A is going to have her baby too, cause I'm so, so excited to do that. So turn this off and then I want everyone to come sit here together. Oh wait, aren't we doing like a gather? Oh no, we need to start the gathering um, and then sit, everyone come sit here together. And then I need Lord J, he's going to sit down as well. And so I feel like Prince Michael, so they're now young adults um, and so is Princess Megan. So I feel like now they are all like like they're they're he's like gathering the whole family like okay guys like i have so, we have something to tell you guys um so yeah and then i like we know that queen Lindsay does not like lady helena but she was one of the ones who kind of told them that they need to get married so i mean she knows about this she just doesn't really like lady helena that much um but yeah so i'm going to have we need queen Lindsay to come here too um we just need like everyone to sit down together oh and they're kissing too guys okay well they really like each other clearly um so that's really really 
really cute guys. They like shared a kiss before the whole entire family got in. Um, so I think she knows what's gonna happen too, but I'm just really excited for this. Okay, and then I need Queen Lindsay to come in here as well. Okay, I'm also at some point gonna have to check when Naya is going to get, uh, when Naya is going to have her baby. Um, so the whole family is here now. So we are going to have Michael and Helena. They're going to come up here and he's gonna tell them that, oh, Naya, Naya needs to come back. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have everyone else sit down, that's fine. Um, so it's okay, Naya, Naya will hear from the other room. So we're going to have Michael now propose to Lady Helena in front of the whole entire family and I'm so excited to do this too. Okay, so he is gathering everyone and gathering the whole family now and now he's proposing to her in front of everyone you guys oh my gosh yay okay so we did it for the whole family and in front of their son lord of jay too so now they're engaged as well so they're probably go you know what should i just have them elope i don't even know if they're gonna have like a an official like wedding and everything i don't even think queen Lindsay would like want them to have like a celebration marriage, I think, cause they're supposed to get married like right away. So, yes, yes, I think they need to just elope um, because as soon as they were turning into young adults, I think they were supposed to get married. So I think I'm just gonna have them elope right away. Um, so I guess this is technically a proposal and a wedding all at the same time. So that's okay. Um, so we'll do this now. So now they're going to be married, you guys. We definitely need to get them their own house too. And I kind of had like this little neighborhood where they like, where the family could kind of live if they don't really have anywhere else to go. Um, so I don't think they're going to end up having like a title or anything like that um, unless something comes up, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, speaking of that, um, so I, since technically, oh, they're really cute, you guys, um, but since we had um, Prince Francisco and Princess Belle, they just got engaged, um, and then we also have, I'm actually going to play from Queen Nea's point of view at the moment just because I want to check where or when they're having their baby um because oh wait oh wait no 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 corinne should be having her baby right now okay we gotta go save managed worlds and then we have to go to corinne because i'm pretty sure she's having her baby at the moment okay good we did not miss it i was so worried we were gonna miss this she's gotta be like in labor at like right now oh my gosh okay yep guys she is in labor so i'm so excited oh wait not public image i just wanted to do she need make happy okay so i did actually i re-downloaded the um crib the baby crib bot thing because i accidentally Denly deleted that for some reason. Um, so I am going to have them. Oh, come on, this is not turning up. Okay. Um, so we are going to get just one more crib so she can have her baby. And then I need to do the mod. So, like, apparently you're supposed to put it down and then they're supposed to be able to, like, like have the baby in the crib apparently. So let me go ahead and do that because it should be right here. Um, okay, so now Corinne should be able to have her baby here, I think. Okay, hold on, let's see. Hopefully she can do this. Okay, uh, wait, ah, uh, come on. It's not letting her have her baby, you guys. Okay, maybe I have to put a bassinet down first and then I can move the baby. So we're gonna do a bassinet down and then she will have her baby, so I'm just gonna put it right there. Okay, have baby. Ah, guys, I'm so excited for her. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for them to have another baby. I definitely want them to have another one after this, but I might wait a little bit before they do, just because I wanna give, whoa, what the heck is happening? Um, But just because I'm, where is she, guys? Guys, oh my God, what the heck? She just came out of the floor. Okay, that was freaky. Okay, what is happening? Do I need to reset her again? Reset, okay, there we go, okay. I think now she's having her baby. Okay, um, so she's having her baby now. And, but yeah, I'm probably gonna wait for them to have the next baby, um, just cause I do wanna give other like families time for their babies to catch up. Um, so yeah, guys, okay, she's having her baby now. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, guys, she had a baby girl. Okay, so they had a baby girl. So let me look at my name suggestions again. Cause I, I had a name picked out for a boy, but not for a girl. So let me look again. Okay, so someone said Scarlet which is really pretty. Someone said Estelle. Honestly, when I think of Estelle, I just think of um, Joey's agent from Friends and she made me laugh really hard. So there, that was that. Um, and then we also have Minerva, which is really cool. Oh guys, oh, someone said Genevieve, which I feel like is perfect because I, I feel like their like world is kind of, kind of inspired, like French inspired. So I really like that. Um, I know that we're not going to be able to fit all that, but I think for now, I think it's, gonna have to be Princess Jen, that's like 
Gen Genevieve? Jenna. Jean? No, Jenna. Okay, I know this is not how you spell Jenna, but I wanted to keep the G. Um, so her name is actually Genevieve, but for now we're gonna go Princess Jenna. So yeah, guys, oh, that's so pretty. So we have Princess Genevieve now, and that's such a pretty name, so I'm so excited. Okay, so I am definitely going to be putting this baby in the crib because I really, really want to. So let's go ahead and move the baby. Okay, guys, it's not letting me move the baby, even though it lets me move Prince Cornelius, but it does not let me move Princess Genevieve. And then I even put that like thing here. Um, so I don't know why it's not letting me um, Hopefully it will soon, but that's fine. So right now we're going to have Princess Genevieve She is going to be in this crib and then I'm going to just change the color just because I put a crib down randomly um, So we'll just have her in the bassinet and then we will have Prince Cornelius in the other crib for now um, And then I can just change it later. That's fine. Um, so let's go ahead and change his diaper So I think we still have we still have several days until Prince Cornelius ages up into a toddler I might age them. I might just age them up in the next episode so we can kind of see them um, But yeah, so that's them for now and I'm so excited you guys. Okay, so there's a lot of crying babies right out so we need to feed them all okay so we have prince cornelius and princess genevieve for their kids you guys i'm so excited and then we'll probably have them have another baby uh, maybe we'll try for the baby in the next episode or something like that uh, but yeah guys so excited okay so we are going to go back to prince or queen Nea because i want her to i want to see when she's going to be having her baby okay so we're at the royal family of oasis springs palace so uh, yeah as i mentioned um queen Nea. so i had them get pregnant Did, like technically there was an episode in between this so there's been a good amount of time since the last episode so it looks like queen Nea. oh oh gosh she's in her third trimester oh wait so she might be having her baby I, I, okay i was supposed to end this episode but i kind of really want her to have her baby in this episode so i might just have her do that so i might just hang out here at the oasis springs palace for a bit so um so also you guys can see so i put princess Arya in this bassinet right here so she's there so yeah let me know what you guys think about the name change i would kind of like to change her name to Arya with a y just because the other Arya, like that's been her name the whole or like her whole life so i feel we're changing it now um but yeah let me know what you guys think about that um so i th oh yeah so the other thing was that since prince philip or technically he's prince i'm gonna change it to rename we're gonna do Prince Consort Philip, so I don't get him confused with the other princes. Um, so this is Prince Consort Philip. Um, so since he's not technically a prince and he is only royal by marriage because his wife is the queen, um, so he's not the king. Um, so for him, so now his brother-in-law is Prince Francisco. So I think he's going to like, I don't think you can technically do this, but he's gonna like gift, or him and Queen Nea, they're going to like gift the name of, of um, what was he before? Oh, the Earl, of Earl to Francisco, and he, they're gonna give their land to um, to Francisco and Belle as like a wedding gift. So I, I think I feel like that's fine too, because for, Francisco's uncle is King Jared of Brindleton Bay, so he's agreeing to this as well. So he's also naming Francisco the Earl. Um, so yeah, so I'm really excited for that. Um, so we're going to have them do that. So probably in the next episode or when they get married, I will have them do that. So I definitely want them to have more kids after this baby as well. So I'm so excited for that. I don't really know when she's going to be having her baby. Um, hopefully pretty soon. I know it's kind of weird that like in the last episode, both Naya and Corinne already both had babies and then now they're already having more babies. Um, so I know that's like super quick, but technically there was a lot of time that passed between this episode and the last episode. So just so you guys know. Um, so hopefully she'll be having her baby pretty soon. Also guys, while we're just waiting for her to have her baby. Um, so so for Amira um, and Johan, I feel like they like their parents have kind of encouraged them just to like spend some more time together. So I'm probably gonna have them go on like a date or something in the next episode, um, just to see like because they're they're like best friends. Like they, their friendship has gone up so much. So I feel like there might be a possible chance of romance there just so I can determine like how well they get along and if we need to do like an actual arranged marriage where I'm gonna have to use a cheat for them to get married or if they're actually going to do a wedding. Oh my god. Oh wait guys, Naya's in, she's in labor already. Oh, okay. Oh gosh, that was so fast. Okay. Oh my god guys, they got another girl. So we have another baby girl. So I actually, I don't need to look at the suggestions for this one because I did promise one of the viewers that I, so there's actually a viewer that Naya's actually has the same name. Um, so her mother's name is Kimberly so she asked me to name the next baby girl of hers Kimberly 
sweet. So I'm gonna go do that. So it's actually going to be for now, we're gonna do Princess Kimmy um, because I can't fit Kimberly in there at the moment. Okay, so yeah, so now Naya has had her babies. So guys, oh my God, we had a lot happen in this episode. We had three proposals, two babies and technically one marriage. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think. I think we might be having the royal wedding of Sulani in the next episode. So I'm so, so excited to do that. So if you enjoyed this, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.